Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M08.com and I'm bringing to you another uh, Ask Jason a Question segment. This time taking two questions. The first question comes from Jeff and Jeff is actually a Pilot's Inner Circle uh, member. This is something I actually learned about inside the Pilot's Inner Circle um, podcast. And uh, in there I was, I was interviewing a gentleman who just passed his private pilot check ride and was mentioning the biggest tip he got from me was actually creating a wind card. And Jeff said it sounded cool, but can you explain more as to what a wind card is? Well Jeff, I'll bring up a graphic real quick so you can see that. The purpose of a wind card is specifically for deviations. Um, you're on your check ride, the examiner says, hey, I need you to deviate to such and such an airport. You would bust out your wind card, and as you can see, this is something you would pre-calculate. Um, you can tell what your ground speed would be no matter what direction you are heading. So you'll know, okay, this airplane is to, or this airport is to the north, my ground speed will be X. Um, so you will know what your ground speed is for no matter what, uh, uh, where your deviation takes you. And Jeff, knowing that you have your uh, uh, commercial uh, pilot check ride coming up, I think a wind card is going to be a huge, huge help to you. Uh, the next question, let me get to it here, is from Gilberto. And once this loads up here, Gilberto, just to summarize what Gilberto said basically, um, he was having a tough time understanding the air speeds. Uh, and, you know, difference between indicated, true, calibrated air speeds, ground speed, what are all the differences? Well, just a, a quick rundown. Again, Gilberto, um, and, and I, I promise you, it's not just you that has this question. I get asked this question a lot. Indicated air speed is whatever you read off of your airspeed indicator. Calibrated airspeed is corrected for instrument error, such as uh, you know maybe a, a, a problem with the uh, the pitot tube and its installation. It is a installation error that they are uh, you know recalculating for. Um, ground speed is your speed across the ground. It doesn't matter how much air is flowing into that pitot tube. It's how fast you're actually traveling along the ground. Depends if you have a headwind, a tailwind, a crosswind. Ground speed is based on that. And true airspeed, which is the one that everyone struggles with. True airspeed is what you're using for uh, when you're planning your cross-country flights. You use true airspeed. A airspeed indicator is built to perform or, or built in standard conditions. 15 degrees Celsius to 9 or point nine or two. It's a very standard instrument, as most sort of stuff is, uh, as you realize throughout aviation. Um, the only time your true airspeed and your indicated airspeed are the same is in standard conditions. And how often do we get 15 degrees Celsius and 29 or point nine or two? Uh, I've never seen it in all, all my years of flying. So true airspeed is based on that. It's based on that difference. Okay, it's based on the air mass you are actually flying through. So true airspeed is going to change based on air density, temperature, so many different factors. So you calculate your true airspeed and you use the true airspeed for calculating your uh, your cross country so you're playing that sort of stuff out. So hopefully that makes a little bit of better sense uh, to you, Gilberto. Uh, Jeff, Gilberto, thank you so much for sending your questions. If you guys have a question, and again, I can only take so many of them, but if you have a question, if it's a great question, um, I'd love to use it on the Ask uh, Jason a Question segment, just go to m0a.com forward slash ask Jason a question and I'll be more than happy to uh, get those, uh, uh, make a video for you. Um, so anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. Hope you learned something and most importantly remember that a good pilot is always learn. Have a great day guys. See ya.